All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna look at how to configure our iGel Thin Client to point to an existing Citrix farm. So I actually have my iGel Client right here. It's loaded as a VM for demo purposes. And you'll see there's nothing available to me. There's, there's no Citrix icon, no Citrix receiver. But if I go over to my iGel Universal Management Console, I can easily create a new profile to point to my existing Citrix environment. And it's very simple. You simply go to profiles under the universal management suite and choose new profile. And let's call this Citrix. And this is gonna load up with a lot of different options for us. But in our case, we wanna jump down to sessions. We wanna jump down to Citrix. And under Citrix, we're gonna go to Citrix storefront. So, I'll call this Ryan's logon so you can see kind of different settings we could set up here. I want to be able to start my Citrix environment from my start menu, from my desktop, as well as my quick start panel. So this is just where users will be able to actually access that receiver icon. And then if I jump down to server, for server location, I'm going to hit this plus sign and this is where I specify my Citrix storefront server. So here it's going to be my URL. If you were using a Netscaler gateway, you can absolutely do that as well and utilize that Netscaler gateway. Simply you'd remove this path at the end there, so that'd be the main difference. And I'm also going to specify a domain so my users don't have to type in my company's domain every single time. And you can also choose how we're going to handle that domain. So normal, they'd be able to remove it, change it, hidden, they just wouldn't see it, and then locked, they can see it, but they won't be able to make any changes to that. Um, the logon type is gonna be password by default, but we can set up things like pass-through authentication if we're using AD auth to log into the actual thin client itself. But let's go ahead and just save with these settings. And it's not actually applied to this client yet. And that's because I have to actually drag this profile over to where the client lives. I can either drag it directly to the client itself, so this is the client I have here, or the folder it's in, so it's kind of like a group policy object um, inside of an OU, very similar kind of setup there. And I'm going to choose, let's update it now. And you'll see in real time on my iGel client, it's asking me for that, that new configuration if I want to apply that now, so I'll hit OK. And you'll see it's called Ryan's Logon. I have my icon here, I have it here. I can double click it. It's gonna ask me for my username as well as my password. So I'll go ahead and type that in here. And what it should do is, yep, it brings up all of my applications. So I could click any of these applications. Let's say I wanna run my virtual notepad running in my Citrix environment. It's just gonna utilize that pre-installed receiver on the iGel client to actually run that notepad. And I, you can actually see I actually had a, a paint session open earlier, so it brought that up as well. So a lot of cool stuff here. What I didn't show you is if you are pointing it to your existing storefront server and you're not using a public CA like a GoDaddy, you will need to import your certificate, both your wildcard as well as your, your root CA. So I did that earlier. You'll see those are assigned here. Um, so in another video, I'll show you how to quickly add that and that way you can ensure you don't get any type of certificate issues when you point it to your Citrix environment.